Today we head back to Warden Road for Oxford United at home. We currently sit 23rd in EFL League 1. Our form has picked up slightly in the league. Most recently, a decent little one-all draw against a strong Wigan side. You could say we deserve the win, but we just lacked that quality in the final third, despite the three strikers that did come on playing pretty well. The visitors currently sit second in EFL League 1 and are absolutely flying. However, new manager Des Buckingham, of course, got a bit of a background with Oxford, so the fans love him. Will he have that new manager bounce? Probably. And obviously he takes over a fantastic squad who, I mean, their form speaks for itself really. They're going very well. Two wins in the last two. They had had a bit of a wobble with a 2-0 loss to Wigan. Of course, we drew to them. They have dropped off slightly, but obviously Liam Manning leaving them. How much impact is that going to have on their season after he was building something big there? Oxford fans, let me know what you think will happen for the rest of your season under Des Buckingham down in the comments. It's going to be a tough one today. But I'm feeling optimistic. It was my birthday on Thursday and I feel like I might get a birthday weekend win. I can't believe I'm saying that. I'm going insane. I can see what they're doing, what he's doing. I can see it, I feel it. I can, I can, he's cooking. My score prediction is a 2-1 win at 2 Cheltenham. I know, I, I've absolutely gone mad. Your score predictions will be on the screen now, as always. Can Cheltenham get a big three points in their hopes to stay up? Or will Oxford pick up a big win which could potentially push them to top of the league? Only time will tell. Let's head to Warden Road and find out. Well then half time, Champtown 1, Oxford 0. Um, I did miss the red card, I'm not going to lie. I haven't seen it because I was in the concourse getting a point. Um, Watts is making me put it up to the screen. Uh, it's pretty average, I can't lie. But he's here. What, what's your thoughts on the first half? Do you want me to be honest? I haven't watched it. I saw the goal. The goal was good. Yeah, we, we look all right. Rob Street's goal was very good. Obviously, he's off the pitch now. I haven't seen the red card, but 
Um, he is unreal. So is Will Goodwin. Goodwin's been great as well, as always. Keener has been a bit hit and miss. I think he's been okay on the ball, but he could have done a bit more running in behind, etc. I think the midfield's been good. Tom Pat, once again, fantastic. Curtis Davis, he's been okay, but again, a bit bambi on those sort of scenario with him, which always seems to be the case. But I just think to myself, when is Bradbury going to get a chance? Because... He's done enough, and he, he's the best centre-back out of the two, in my opinion. <laughs> but yeah, solid first half. We need to carry on into the second with 10 men. It's going to be difficult against the good side. Let's go second half.
right then that is it for today's match day vlog thank you all very much for watching your support means the absolute world and what a result that was oxford did not let themselves today i spent the build up on the podcast this week talking about how ruben rodriguez would rip us apart he was way off it today obviously got sent off had a big chance missed He's a fantastic player, but if he's not at his best, then you can tell that something is wrong with the squad. Obviously, Des Buckingham come in. It's a new era under them, so it doesn't entirely surprise me there's been a bit of a shift in performance. But listen, Oxford fans, I wish you the very best for the rest of the season. Great turnout from you lot, so every credit to you. But we were absolutely brilliant today. Will Goodwin was unbelievable. Aidan Keenan was fantastic. Rob Street up until the red card, which apologies I didn't get on camera. Uh, I was in the concourse. But fantastic fantastic performance from all of the players to be fair it's tough to single out anyone for a man of the match so i won't but i do just want to give a little shout out to will goodwin's mum uh, if you're watching this thank you for coming and saying hello to me in the club shop uh, and introducing yourself it was nice to know that you do watch the videos um and it's nice to know that all of you lot watch the videos if you watch the videos and you do see me do feel free to say hello because your support does mean the world and it's great to meet you guys and not to mention the fact that will goodwin is a bloody legend and it was a very very strange moment for me but yeah if you did enjoy please do smash like and subscribe would be massively appreciated I don't know if I'll be out Charlton on Tuesday, so stay posted on Twitter for that. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Have a class rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one.